Hi, and welcome to this presentation on how to double your online sales using rich media. My name is Erlen Backe, and I'm the founder of 360.no. With rich media, we mean 2D photography, 3D and 360 photography, where you can view the product from all sides, and the use of interactive video, or just normal video, to communicate your product in a more engaging way, which will increase your online sales. And of course, we'll be looking at the combination of these. The e-commerce journey starts with a consumer wanting to buy something. When they find it, they will view it, and then they will decide to purchase it. Our expertise lies within viewing the product. So when the consumer is viewing it, that's what we're going to talk about mostly in this presentation. The barrier to buying products online has really gone down. Most people buy products online these days. We're not going into this in depth here, but it's important to know that men and women browse the web very differently when it comes to product purchasing. The speed of your website has become very important. Now that a lot of the traffic will be coming from mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets, how quickly your website loads can actually determine whether you're able to sell products or not. So, bear in mind that your website needs to load quickly or you will lose sales. Web stress is also caused by poor quality of service, poor quality of the user experience, bad tools, complicated purchasing process, and poor site reactivity. With all devices, we mean normal computer, mobile, as well as tablet computing. A recent trend that we've seen the last couple of years is that more and more users are buying using their mobile phone device, and this will continue to grow in the future. Having said that, users still prefer to buy their products online using their computer, not their mobile advice. This has to do with trust. In a nutshell, people like buying when they're on the computer because they're less stressed. They also feel safer and more secure. Imagery and the kind of tools you use to sell your product really, really affect sales. So you use high image quality, good quality 360 photography, and a high level of video content when selling your products. Communicating products online, you have three media to choose from. 2D, 3D, and video. Now, an interesting fact is that 58% of all internet users prefer viewing a 360. 80% of internet users will not buy if the graphics are not excellent. Two out of three of our clients have really increased sales after using 360 photography. I put this graph together so that you could see it in a different format. So basically, pictures are effective, 360 with Zoom is the most effective, and video also adds a lot to the uh, product experience. So let's look at Sappos. Sappos was basically acquired by Amazon for $1 billion. Now, they actually built themselves up selling shoes, so it's something they do really well and have been doing for years. So let's just look at what they do to, uh, to generate a lot of sales. Now, one of the things is they actually ship products for free. That's a big selling point. You have the live help just up here and the 24-7 customer service. Now, I realize that you can't have customer service 24-7 necessarily. But what you can do is you can outsource it to the Philippines. So you can have people in the Philippines answering questions for your products. And another clever thing that they do here is that the website is actually optimized for iPad and iPhone use because just like in print, on the web you have a fold and the fold goes down here. It's basically what you're able to see on most screens. So if I scroll down, there's more info. But what Sappos know is that people don't want to scroll. They just want to click and see the same information basically in the same window. And here they have the review on the top, as well as the main emphasis is on the actual image. So here they have a series of images. I would actually recommend to have a, 
360 view showing from the get-go. Um, but Sappos actually doesn't actually use 360 photography on their uh, on their products. Um, so really nicely done. Um, so let's look look at the video. Here we have somebody from Sappos talking about the shoe. Now. To you, video might be a bit intimidating because you might be thinking, oh, I'm going to need all this equipment, it's going to be really expensive, it's going to be really complicated, and it's going to be all this work putting it online. But video has actually become quite cheap to produce and it's coming down in price all the time, so it's something you really should jump on. Besides, 2013 is meant to be the year of the video, so you should, you should uh, get on creating video straight away. Now he just talks about the shoe, you know, the general knowledge of what he, he knows about the shoe. He's endorsing it. And this creates further trust to buy the product. He's taking out the sole. He's basically doing the, exactly the same thing that you would be doing if you were considering buying this product. So you also have You May Also Like, which has uh, become quite standard in the industry. I just think Sappos does a great job of showcasing showcasing their shoes and I think of all the websites I've seen the video they use to sell their products is uh, is the best. Now, an interesting thing is if we just stay long enough on this page there's going to be a pop-up saying if you have any questions, please contact us. So Sappos is actually prompting you to use live chat, to use, uh, to phone them. Uh, and they're actually world famous for their customer support. So there will be a pop-up saying, click here to uh, live chat with us, click here to phone us, and click here to email us. So great job. Check, it, check out sappos.com. Here's the form I mentioned earlier with customer support. The expert prediction of commerce and e-commerce is that these two worlds will be increasingly merging, which means customers will have a digital experience in-store where they can buy and get the product shipped home, or they will be shopping online, picking up in-store, and any other combination of the two what is a fact and what will happen is that the physical and digital experience are merging and they will merge more in the future. Now here comes a short introduction to 360 photography software. HTML5 is the new version of the web. The software we're going to be showing you soon uses HTML5 and works on all devices. Now I'd like to show you all the possibilities that you have with 360 photography. This is our own software called USPIN Pro. Basically all you have to do is sign in at the top, which we'll uh, remember to click first, <laughs> and enter your password, which gives you your account. Now, here we have a whole bunch of different 360s that we have made, uh, but first I want to show you how to create a very simple one. Just enter the name, and then find your images. And so I have some images here. So I'm just going to choose these and press open. Now you can see it's uploading. While it's doing that, I can choose between public and private. And I can enter the product number. So let's enter 5682. I can tag it. You have glove, uh, interlocation, price, etc. Um, but then we just create spin. I can actually rearrange the order of all the images as well. But let's go back to my creations here. There's the glove. Our server is with Rackspace. And we use CDN, which basically means all the content on our server is mirrored all over the world which makes it three times faster than most other servers. So here we have our full 360 of the glove. Uh, so now you've seen the glove. Obviously we can do um, shoes. 
and we can do full mannequins. We can do people wearing funny clothes. Uh, let's go to num page number four. We have done cosmetics for Estee Lauder. We can do rings. So now you, you, you can see we can do most products, but why? what's the point of the whole 360 photography to start with? So when you have to touch something, you engage a third sense. So when most people browse online, they use sight and hearing. That's the senses that are engaged. So when, when somebody has to touch something that's interactive, you actually engage a third sense, the sense of touch. And when you touch something, you, um, you're, you get more emotionally engaged in, uh, in the product, which increases the chance of you buying it. Now, there's a couple of things about this simple technology, which is it increases sales, it decreases returns, and the reason why it has those two very positive effects is the whole trust. It creates more trust for your, for your customers because they actually can see, feel, and touch what you are selling them. The average price of a 360 animation is 150 euros. However, with new technology, the prices are coming down. The main benefits of using 360 photography is that it increases sales, it decreases returns, you know, people stay longer on the website, and so it increases viewing time. And in, in general, the most important aspect of it is that it increases the consumer's trust in the product.